I am Dr. Sandeep Basin from Kerwell Medical Center. Are you concerned about the risk of cancers associated with breast implant? So watch this video. In this video, I'm going to discuss association of breast implants with the breast cancers. What are the studies and what the latest research is telling us. So many females undergo breast implant and according to a survey from America, annually each year, about 4 lakh females in America undergo breast implant. 3 lakh out of them are doing for cosmetic reason and 1 lakh for reconstructive purpose. And in America, the saline and silicone implant both are used but in India we mostly use silicone implants. So there have been always controversies regarding the silicone implant and associated risk of autoimmune diseases and cancers. In 1999, uh, this, the patient who wanted to have reconstructive breast surgery, only saline implants were allied, allowed, silicone implants were not allowed. But later on 2006, this restriction was removed and the females could choose between either of them, the, either the saline after reconstruction also. Recently, the US FDA uh, Annals of Surgery by Anderson MD have done studies in that one lakh patient females who have undergone breast implant and they found some associations between various diseases and the breast implant there was some association between the females who have undergone silicone breast implant and increased risk of some autoimmune diseases like uh, sir john syndrome rheumatoid arthritis um, and few other connective tissue disorders but the incidence was not very high and also they found that there is an incidence of a special blood cancer that is called breast implant associated large cell anaplastic large cell lymphoma so this is a blood, blood cancer that is associated with the breast implants so what is interesting is that this association of this Lymphoma is more with a textured implant rather than with the smooth implants. Now there are two types of breast implants, either a saline or a silicone. Silicone implant again can be smooth or textured and the textured can be micro or macro textured. So either it is a micro or macro, they are associated with the risk of anaplastic large cell anaplastic lymphomas and this is associated with the breast implant. So this is a big news and now all over the world it is being recommended not to use textured implant for the surgery so that is something that you must keep in mind if you're planning for a breast implant please ask your surgeon whether they are using a textured implant or a smooth implant and if they are planning for a textured implant which should not be ideally happening then kindly ask them to shift to a smooth implant this is something very very important now there are a few things that i would like to share with all of you and uh, regarding the breast implants and one is this uh, anaplastic lymphoma some few things more about it why textured implant are linked with more with this anaplastic lymphomas well the reason is you know the textured implant are surrounded by a film that is called a biofilm and which is because of the inflammatory reaction and with time this film can turn into a lymphoma, large cell, anaplastic large cell lymphoma, and that is what can, can create problem. And how do we diagnose if this happens? If it turns into a lymphoma, the patient would feel a pain, redness, swelling, fluid, uh, fluid around the breast. So these symptoms would come and if you do MRI, maybe this can be diagnosed. So if you ha had a breast implant or maybe a textured implant and having any of such symptoms, this implant should be immediately removed and this should be corrected as soon as possible. So that is one thing regarding the breast implant. Now there are few things again for the breast implant that you should keep in mind when you're planning for breast implant. Now first very important thing, if you're planning for a breast implant before undergoing a breast implant, please get a, either an ultrasound of the breast or mammography of the breast before the surgery and do so annually or maybe after regular intervals after this implant. The reason is after breast implant, breast implant by itself does not increase the incidence of breast cancer. But what it can do is it can if there's a breast cancer happening, it would be buried inside the implant and it will not be diagnosed early. If you're doing mammography or MRIs annually, 
you can diagnose that breast cancer more early, maybe in stage one and can treat it early rather than missing the diagnosis and then the disease spreading into stage three or stage four and then becoming uh, incurable or difficult to treat. So that is, do a timely checkup of your breast if you're undergoing a breast implant. That is the first very important thing to you. Secondly, there are some studies and some evidences, not totally, but if you have a family history, strong family history or yourself, of some autoimmune disease like say, John disorder, rheumatic disorder, or some autoimmune disease or connective tissue disorder, then it is better either not to go for a breast implant or choose a saline implant or choose for fat grafting. These are the options that you can choose for rather than going for a silicone implant. Number third, what's very important, if you're going for a breast implant and you want to do breastfeeding, if you're using a big size breast implant, Breastfeeding may become difficult after that surgery. So keep be very careful if you want to do breastfeeding in future to choose the right size of the implant. The breast implant does not stop the breast from sagging and does not correct a severe sagging and ptosis of the breast. It can help in the mild sagging but not in a severe sagging. So breast implant is not an ideal treatment for breast sagging and does not stop the breast sagging. So this is something we should keep in mind. And if you had a breast implant and it was a textured implant, then I, as I we discussed, if you have any of the symptoms like pain, redness, swelling, fluid around the breast, which are uh, telling you that it might be turning into a lymphoma or large cell lymphoma, then immediately get your MRI, consult your physician and get it treated as soon as possible. Do not delay and do not ignore it. In India, we have one more issue. Like most breast implants have a life of 10 years or 12 years, but here, the people extend it up to 15 years, 16 years and 20 years also. So if you're doing that, get the annual checkup, do an MRI, do a checkup. Because breast implant with time can have complication. There can be leakage of the silicone. There can be formation of the capsule around it. Capsular contracture can happen. Uh, the, the, the implant can get ruptured. And the implant, the, the implant can induce lymph, uh, anaplastic lymphomas. So all these things can happen with the passing years. So that is very important. Keep in mind that if you're keeping implant for a long time, you have to be careful that it does not cause you some complications in the future. So thank you friends, Dr. Sandeep Basin from Careville Medical Center. I hope you liked this video and this gave you some information regarding the connection between the breast implant and cancers. And I have another numerous other videos I've made on cosmetic surgery, like on hair transplantation, gynecomastia, uh, rhinoplasty, lasers, anti-aging. I think we have a numerous list. Um, you can, uh, we are sharing those links down and if you want more information on any of the subjects, you can uh, suggest that and our team will help us help me to make such a more of these videos for educational purpose. And I hope that I'll see you sometime in future. If you like this video, please like and subscribe it and hoping to see you sometime in future. Thank you, I'm Dr. Sandeep Basin from Kedva.